Well, this is Asa Swift. And this is my son and cameraman, Ian McConaughey. We're going to do a, uh, we're going to do the uh, Hannah House Paranormal Day uh, celebration, I guess you would want to say. I don't know, is it celebrate ghosts or horror or whatever? I guess that's all right, especially if you love it like we do. So we're on our way down to the Hannah House right now, and uh, we'll see you down there. Well, we're here at Paranormal Day at Hannah House, and uh, we arrived safely, got breakfast, set up the canopy, and uh, everybody's moving in. Uh, this is the second uh, second uh, a wave of uh, vendors and authors and, and others uh, coming here today. And uh, by 10 o'clock, it'll be open to the public. And so uh, we got our fingers crossed it'll go good. We're going to have tours of the, uh, the Hannah House, uh, built in 1858, and uh, was uh, part of the Underground Railroad. And... Uh, course it's got the uh, the uh, legend of the haunting of the slaves that uh, were uh, killed in smoke inhalation and fire when the uh, a lantern in the basement was overturned uh, keeping the sl slaves hidden so anyway I'm going to show you around a little bit while my uh, cameraman uh, watches uh, watches our tent and I'll, I'll show you that here in a little bit ready to go let's do it Hey, cameraman. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> just, just reading up. There's the, uh, there's my, uh, little board there. Let me see if I can zoom in on it for you. There we go. See, my cameraman operates this thing, not me, so he, he's, he does a better job at it. I'm still learning the thing. Whoop. See what I mean? Okay, let's get started. There's the house. And here's the front of Hannah House. We'll go around. It doesn't look that big from the front, but you'll see just how big it is.
and now you can see how big it is. In 1858, the Hannas were obviously very wealthy people. And that wealth enabled them to be abolitionists who were more than just opposed to slavery. They did something about it. This, if I remember right, this is the uh, cistern. It's original, old cistern to the house. And up here, the uh, was the help passage. The uh, the back part here were uh, uh, I guess you would say well, butler or whatever it was the help that. That's where they stayed, and that's the help's stairwell right there. Right now, it's just used for, it hasn't been anyway in the past, it's just used for storage, so they don't do tours up there. And it is on the register of historic places. And you can pause that if you want to read it. <clears throat> I don't know the story on the outbuildings. Obviously that one over there is pretty dang old. But I don't know about the story on it. I think from this angle you can see the size of it now. From pretty much one end to the other. Well, it's time for the 8 o'clock people, vendors and such, to set up. Now the hauntings involved in this, not only supposed to be the slaves, of course, that passed away, but Mrs. Hannah, it said, had a child who was uh, stillborn, and that obviously would create one hell of a an emotional impact on this place and they say at times one of the rooms upstairs smells like rotting flesh workmen have gone through the walls the floorboards and could never find anything 
No dead animals of any kind. Nothing. It will come and it will go to this day. Things move by themselves in here. I don't know where the the stillborn child was was buried whether it was on these grounds or out at Crown Hill with the rest of the hens. But that's the story on that. Now there was a TV show done uh, where uh, I, and I can't remember who it was but it was a, a one of the a more uh, famous paranormal uh, shows on TV and they recorded the ghost very faint but very easily still easily seen upstairs in the attic next to the stairwell and you could see the faint outline of a small boy moving upstairs no one knows why who or what happened but I did see that myself on uh, infrared video so we're back back at our booth and my brand new $43 <laughs> Walmart campy so anyway we're gonna take a break we'll pick up where I left off I wasn't quite satisfied with the uh, with the audio that came out in this segment so uh, I just wanted to uh, to do the uh, overlay on a voiceover uh, there's not a whole lot to, to describe anyway it's more of a it's more of a sightseeing kind of thing uh, through the all the different vendors and things um, on top of that I had forgotten to uh, attach the uh, the uh, quality mic the internal mic on the camera is just crap uh, so uh, Unfortunately, I uh, waited until it was really too late by the time the segment was almost over to discover I hadn't plugged in the quality uh, uh, mic. Um, but there is sound uh, uh, later on in the video and just wanted to let you know about it. Um, I didn't want to do too much trimming. Uh, because I wanted you to be able to see what was going on that day and uh, see the same sights and the sights that uh, that I saw again there wasn't there wasn't a lot of sound there was some background music uh, but nothing that uh, uh, that that you would say would be missing a big segment of the of the video uh, unfortunately these things happen sometimes and that's what happened this time that's my son uh, that's back at the uh, at the canopy that we had There's a, um, I made a little joke later on when I uh, uh, saw a manure spreader down there and uh, referenced uh, the fact that uh, some people call me a BS artist. So the man manure spreader was, was quite appropriate, I suppose. But anyway, the uh, the next segment will have some have some sound, um, and uh, I think there's one other portion that uh, that I eliminated the sound on, and uh, we'll just have to see.
Now this fella here, he um, he and his wife were in this jewelry um, uh, little store, uh, Kenyatta Jewels, and uh, I go back and uh, and check the uh, or or kind of focus in on the uh, the the little uh, sign that they have there. So you can pause the video and see their website and go to it if you're interested. Um, I told him I would do that, you know, that it would be posted on uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, the gentleman and myself were just discussing the history of um, of uh, the Hannah House, the fact that it was a um, underground railroad house, and uh, the the hauntings uh, behind it, the the fact that the uh, legend that the uh, slaves died from smoke uh, inhalation and fire and uh, due to the fact that they wanted to keep the house a secret as part of the Underground Railroad they buried the slaves that passed away into the ba in the basement so that no graves could be seen and no bodies could be found and uh, and therefore saving the saving the house as a uh, uh, an underground uh, railroad passage for uh, for escaped slaves that uh, trying to get uh, gain their freedom uh, as everybody knows the the Hannas were abolitionists and uh, but due to the uh, Fugitive Slave Act uh, they could be uh, jailed or punished uh, because it, it applied throughout the United States for hiding or harboring slaves or runaway slaves um, so they were they were taking a risk and and they were putting their money where their mouth is as far as being abolitionists. They were taking a risk. And then I told him also about the uh, the legend that uh, Mrs. Hannah had a uh, supposedly had a stillborn baby, and that part of the hauntings uh, may be due to that because of the the uh, enormous uh, emotional psychic impact on the on the property I guess that's the way some people would put it uh, due to the the stillborn uh, baby's death and that the uh, <clears throat> that many times it was uh, reported to have smelled like uh, rotting flesh in the house and then other times it would it would just go away and that workmen checked the floors underneath the floorboards and in the walls and, and never found anything And then that was pretty much. I use uh, I use those for to uh, Hello, how are you? to promote my books. Okay. I write horror stories. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh huh. We need
I don't usually have too much problems with the uh, copyright situation because I just don't I don't use anybody's music in any of my videos. However, uh, there's some background music there, and I'm not sure how loud it is, how loud you know, how muffled does it need to be before it's not a copyright issue or whatever. So um, I'd rather be safe safe than sorry. I just uh, uh, muted the the uh, the mu the music, and that way not to worry about it. This was uh, the beginning of the section of uh, tarot card readers, readers, fortune tellers, uh, palmists, and things like that. Uh, I think I circled back around uh, a little later, or maybe it was before, I don't know, uh, and, uh, and got video of, of the whole row.
This is uh, Brian K. Morris, another uh, author uh, of Rising Tide Publications. Uh, Rising Tide all raises all ships. Um, he's on Amazon and he's on YouTube under that name, Brian K. Morris. Uh, he also has a free monthly newsletter. And the newsletter is, you can find that at uh, bit.ly, capital R S. G N capital T D zero one. Okay, we're back. And that should be I believe that's his newsletter thing. Um anyway it's rising tide dot pub, rising tide publications. And you can his books are also on Amazon dot com and uh, I think uh, I think you'll enjoy him. All kinds of, he's got a little bit of everything really. Um Oh, let me re let me redo that. I think I'm I think I left a backslash out or forward slash out. It's uh, bit dot ly forward slash. Is it? I don't know. I'm going blind. Um, that's a forward slash bit dot ly forward slash capital R S G N T small d zero one.
Hello? Let's see, I'm gonna slide over here real quick. Nasty. No, you're all right. <laughs> I'm just here to look at girls. This is just a this is just a fake thing right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. This is my daughter. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you.
We're back at home port. It's time for me to visit the little boy's room. But I think you get the idea. And this is something that we'll probably continue to do as long as they continue to have it. Well, <clears throat> we're wrapping things up here today at, at uh, the uh, Hannah House Paranormal Day. It's uh, about 3.41. We've got our wagon loaded up, table, all that stuff, and ready to go. I've got to work my regular job in the morning. Cameraman's got stuff to do. And I'm old and tired. And uh, I don't know what excuse my son has, but that's mine. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy you've enjoyed the, uh, the video. Uh, today on Ace of Swiss Haunted Places. Uh, if not, uh, just send me a complaint there at the bottom telling me to fix whatever. So anyway, uh, like I said, I hope, you have, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. hope you've learned a little bit about something about the, uh, the Paranormal Day at the Hannah House. If it's, it happens again next year, we'll do it again. Uh, and in fact, uh, <coughs> we had uh, we had so much fun, we may be doing it at other places too. Uh, we've gotten some invites and uh, we might just do that. So for Ace of Swiss Haunted Places and my cameraman, we are out of here. Like Graceland, uh, they do not allow video or flash photography inside the uh, Hannah House. So I hope you enjoy these pictures that my cameraman took for me.